Hello, I'm Introducing and welcome back to This Is The Police. I can't commit to that voice fully because my throat's still a little bit hoarse. I'm trying to, but I'm, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. The voices can't be too crazy just yet. I know, it's disappointing. Uh, anyway, uh, dentist stuff's going on. That sounds like an update, like I'm doing a vlog or something. I mean like the killer called the dentist is murdering and stuff. <laughs> and we had some fun last episode with issues. No issues today? Oh, good. Thank you. Now, I didn't get content ID'd when I played this track. Yet. So we'll play this track. Right. Oh, these things still here? But I, I have to close down the investigations they're doing. But I can't because one of them is... One of them's this. Okay, we just have to hope that they're there tomorrow. Um... City Hall, two days. We need to hire a detective for tomorrow. Ooh, 700! Yes! Uh, it's tomorrow A shift. No, we're on A shift at the moment, so it's B shift. You're a badass, we need you. Just in case gets the job done. Alright, um... Ugh, mafia. That's, that's terrible. What were we selling? Just like paracetamol. Has Freeburg police failed to detect the appearance of a famous serial killer in the city? It's become clear that your detective is simply not up to the challenge. You have seven days to fully update your detective roster. Find some smart young faces and those other hassles working for you. Keep them as far away from the police station as possible. Wait, I've got to fire all of them? You're kidding. I, I've got to police City Hall. So I, I guess I have to. I really don't want to, but I, I think I have to. But that means I need to I need to get these sorted because. Oh crap! That means I need to. I need to finish every single case I'm doing. Every single case has to be finished, so that I can get rid of the lead detectives. Because you can't change lead detective. Seven days. I guess that's why they give me seven days. Suspicious guy looking around his apartment building. He doesn't live here. I know the face of my name is this guy selling drugs. It's just a guy in his apartment he doesn't know. It's not a guy selling drugs, let's be honest. We'll send out two. The best and the worst. It's probably a false, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, they went away! God damn, that's gonna have consequences. He's waiting for his girlfriend who hadn't answered his call since they quarreled. There we go. No issue. Um, a lot of people have said that it's my fault that we don't have any detectives, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And they're right to a certain extent. But they're saying I played badly in the early game. I did choices that City Hall didn't like, but I, I was role playing. I was role playing as the, you know, the superintendent who, you know, doesn't want to do these things that City Hall wants to push him around to do. Partly because he's a good guy, and partly because. Quite frankly, he doesn't like being pushed around. I I would do the same options again. Like, it's because we pissed off City Hall that we didn't get all the bonuses and more detectives and officers and all that kind of stuff. But I would do it again because that's who we're roleplaying. Uh, a man attacked a sales girl at the flower shop when she refused to give him a bouquet of roses on credit. Wow. I witnessed a report that the man struck the poor girl with a pistol and started to choke her with some packing tape. That would have been a sticky end. Uh, all the while he kept yelling, I just want to be treated like a human? Yeah, okay, um, Sandy, take Underwood and Fox. Probably don't need three, that's actually overkill, considering I only got six on staff now. I need to please City Hall, though. Sorted. 
with three people that was always going to be like you know knocked away out of the ballpark that kind of stuff like you know we had Sam D on it Sam D knows what's what hostage situation an armed man wearing what looks like an explosive vest is standing next to an attraction at the ice rink uh, demanding that the dangerous staff be dismantled and removed right away the dangerous stuff oh the ice park visitors and their children are trapped on the ferris wheel and the offenders refusing to leave them well, SWAT, Paddy Wagon, Sandy, Foxman, Underwood, Mail. That should knock it out. It's also quite close. We've only got two, though, left, so a little bit worrying. Like, I am going to more role play this rather than playing to be perfect. Like, if you just play for, like,. I know, it's it's not oh, Foxman was killed. God damn it. Abduction. Four business partner together with three armed accomplices broke into his house and demanded money. Santos couldn't pay, he kept all his cash in the bank, so they kidnapped the man's wife and the infant and took them to an abandoned house in the outskirts of the suburbs. Okay, well I need the swap back. I think we'll be back in time. Yeah, don't kidnap people. It's bad. I don't know why I call it abduction. That's not the law. The crime is kidnap, right? Homicide. Uh, let's just check. Motel saw people dragging a limp body from one of the rooms. Now they're tearing the room apart, obviously looking for something. It might be that someone had like an asthma attack or something, maybe? I don't know. Uh, right, SWAT. His name is Raphael Souza. We created the company three years ago. Business was lousy, so we blackmailed him the first year and forced him to buy him out. So huge for a huge eh, for a huge sum of money. Now he's found the business turned around, and he wants even more. Okay, yeah, kidnap him, Dad. Um, Sandy Underwood, male. Millsap Vandal. Oh, I'm glad that that should go. I thought there might be. Oh, it's too dangerous. No, 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 no. All right, how are we doing? Ooh. We've got frames. Probably not enough, but let's have a go. The tall middle-aged man was dressed in an unbuttoned gray coat and white t-shirt. Upon entering the store, he went right to the alcohol, picked up a six-pack beer, then headed to the checkout. Ah, assuming this is a suspect. Tall middle-aged man was dressed in an unbuttoned gray coat and a white t-shirt. On him to the store, went to the alcohol. So we've got to get him. Here we go. Comes in. Gray coat and what? Yeah, so on. Picks up the alcohol. And then heads to the checkout. Uh, Mrs. Arana. I was standing right in front of this guy at the checkout. He seemed pretty suspicious to me and with a nasty smile. I got away from him as fast as I could. And on the way out, I told one of the guards to keep an eye on him. I don't see one with the guards, but okay. Mr. Pape. Uh, I was in line with this guy. He was obviously in a hurry and very nervous. He handed the cashier his credit card, so that's correct. And when the cashier told him the account was empty, he pulled his gun out and shot the poor girl in the head. So not money. It was credit card. So he pulls the gun. And then he shoots a security guard. Or tries to... I don't know. Mr. Pergola. Me and my partner, Ron... We're talking when a woman came up and said we should watch the strange man at the checkout. Ron went over there, and then I saw the flash and heard shots, and this guy was rushing the exit with his beer. I was in such shock that I didn't have anything to, time to do anything. I didn't even have a chance to get my gun out. So there we go. Like, he's shocked, and he's running for the exit. He runs? Yeah! Uh, it's such a shame I'm to fire you. I really don't want to fire Moza. Rob Lawrence, unemployed, previously convicted for burglary. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to have officers for this. Good officers. Disappointed. I thought we didn't understand it, but your lack of respect is making me think otherwise. Remember, we don't treat our enemies with kid gloves. Don't make this mistake again. No new frames. Okay. We've got four. And we need this, so... You pull that out. 
Uh, it's a box and it's an urn there. There's, yeah, that's not going to work. We need more frames. A man with a gun in his hand is smoking on the porch of an abandoned house. <laughs> Shoot the suspect. Nah, he's just got a gun in his hand. Like, it could be. That's not illegal. At least in America, I assume. Go around the house to the back door. Arrest the man and go inside. All right, so we won't do it with the arrest, because, you know, we should arrest anyway, just in case. Music inside the house is pumping loud. Three armed men are sitting in a table playing cards in the corner of the frightened woman of a child. Rush over and help. No, no. Deal with the threat, then other stuff, right? It's always threat first, everything else later. Pull the cord on the music player. Rush the men. If you mean rush the men, you mean, like, with guns? I don't know. I don't know. Pull the cord on the music player. Oh, yeah. As people shining flashlights inside the room, the voices of perpetrators are raised in the homicide in the motel. Okay. Draw weapons and secure the room. Do it. The criminals are confused. One is a knife, and the rest just a flashlight. So there's a body on the floor covered in stab wounds. Shoot the man holding the knife. Uh, depends how close he is. If he's within, what is it? Two meters? He can act before you can. So if he's within two meters, you have to shoot. Um... Take him the arm criminal. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to be back in time to do this today. We aren't. Okay. I want all my detectives to come in tomorrow, then. Uh, yeah, I'll declare you dead. Right. You need to come in tomorrow. You need to come in tomorrow. End the day. Oh, great. This is going to be us screwing over the FBI because I didn't hand them the card. Boyd here. And I hope you have a hell of a good reason for calling me in the middle of the night. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Boyd. I'll, I'll call you back later. Oh. No, no, wait. You're the girl from the prosecutor's office. Lana, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm so embarrassed, Mr. Boyd. The first thing Mrs. Broom told me about you is that you almost never sleep. I don't sleep too much either, so I thought I'd call you and apologize for last time. <laughs> but it wasn't the last time, was it? Well, I I've been going over our conversation in my mind, and I realized how stupid I sounded. You're the chief of police, and there's a strange girl calling you, saying she'll be the next city prosecutor, just, just to share the news, I guess. I must have sounded crazy. Not so crazy as you imagine, Lana. Uh, when I learned I was going to be police chief, my parents were already dead and my only friend was working a thousand miles away from Freeburg. Wife and kids were relaxing on a distant island in the middle of the ocean. It took me six hours to get a hold of them. But I had to share the news with someone or I would have gone mad. All the more because I was surrounded by half a dozen cops who figured they were ahead of me for the job. I figured you were feeling about the same. It's like you're reading my mind. Now I'm like an outcast here. Most of them still think that Mrs. Broom was joking or trying to show her deputies that she's in charge of appointing her successor. But I know it's no joke. Well, for some reason, I didn't doubt it, Lana. That's probably why I'm calling you. <laughs> I know it's selfish. I'm sure your wife isn't too keen on girls calling you at night. Ooh. My wife and I, well... We're not living together. Maybe I'm the loneliest man in town, and that's why you called, to talk to someone even lonelier than you, huh? <laughs> Lana? You know, Mr. Boyd, maybe I'm an idiot, but until this moment, I didn't realize how lonely I am. Well, you're in luck, because now you can call me anytime. Uh, but if you do, you'll have to call me Jack. Jack? <laughs> It'll take more than one phone call to get used to that. Well, She's we're not in a hurry, are we? True. Freeburg believes homosexual contagious. Boutique sale invites stampede. Authentic uniform of German general Karl Wolf discovered in city dump. And city hall. Meh. Yeah. Mafia, meh. Not that Mafia really do anything for us right now. I 
I'm too tired in Harley Watt Street. Can I go home? No, I need you here. Uh, for any of yours, ask you to help at the animal shelter? No, sorry. I'm su suffering extremely severe anxiety attack and can't concentrate on anything. Can I go home? No, I need you here. Sorry, Florida, but you got your partner killed last time. You know, I know that you and your partners have a bad history, but you need to do this, okay? All right, let's get this one in. I hate being a dick like that, but, like, we need Florida. We need to, we need to knock this out of the park, okay? Right. We'll send Florida. We'll send... We'll send... Numata. Have a good team here. We send two officers and swap. Well, we've got... Right, so once this is knocked out of the park, we'll have a spare officer. But I do need to fire an officer. Oh, we need to get rid of a few. Salary. Yeah, it's terrible. It does disappoint. Thank you, City Hall. One of our kids climbed onto the roof and he's talking about suicide. We need to calm him down at the same time keep him in the situation. Fine, I'll send King. Varga, I need to at least keep you sweet with some really basic stuff, but... Eh. One day, yeah. Did we get him? Yeah! I wonder if Varg is going to kill my officer I sent. Oh, I have to find Moser. It's so sad. Moser's coming back. Oh, King's coming back. Robbery. A shrubbery. A group of teenagers cleaned out a video rental cash register while the owner was occupying the back room. Store employee recognized one of the robbers at regular the arcade. Okay, so we'll send Powers and... No, we'll send Yancey and Austin. There we go. Alright, come on. Right. Moza. Case. Actually, let's put Case there and Moza there, just in case. I don't think it matters. Just, just in case. Just in case. Oh, dear. This is an important case. Case. Detective Case, I want you on this case. Detective Moser, you have case. On the case. Yeah, that joke is going to get overused fast. It's probably overused already, let's be honest. Teenage fit in the description of the offender who's playing alone at an arcade console. We should probably confirm the manager that's the right suspect. Like, I assume we've spoken to the manager already. Let's just watch him until his friends return. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Armed robbery. Oh. I don't have my swap. Serial murder. Oh. Oh, basically, like, it's whatever they were hit by. Okay, so that's like three frames and they're all choices. Oh. Jack, I'm so glad you've lived up to my expectations except the rules of the game. So far, the feds are chasing their own tail, but you, you're following the trail of coins I've left you. Feel how they're still warm to the touch. You're getting close. Sorry about your detective. I was so excited to trap my trap, but I swear it will never happen again. Okay. What's this? Okay. A woman... Emptying a horn or some sort of bag that looks like a snake and donkeys are eating it and there's animals everywhere. Veterans Health, Lithewire Store, Fortune Bank, Beats Buster Dance Studio, Car Dealership. Oh god, I've got to think about these things. Um, we've got Swap back. Sight Lime just tripped at central bank. It appears that four to six armed robbers have stormed the bank and locked themselves inside. There are at least 15 visitors inside with them along with dozens of bank employees. Okay, so we'll send Florador, King, Austin, Powers, and that should be good. Austin Powers, yeah. Fight. 
15 hooligans burst into cafe, broke the furniture in splinters, wounded the manager, and badly beat another young man. An arm, an arm man armed with a gun was at the scene, and he fired a warning shot, but the hooligans only laughed and continued their rampage of the destroying everything. I'll send two. They'll complain and say no. Yeah, no. Okay, let's, let's look at this again. It looks like maybe money is being poured out. Like, there's lots of... I was, assumed it was like corn or something, but it could be coins. There's a giant bottle cap or a crown. Veterans House, no. Lifewire store, no. Fortune Bank. I need to send SWAT. I don't have SWAT today. God damn it. Okay. Because that's my SWAT use for the day. Civilian killed. God damn it. Okay, no more SWAT for today. We'll have to do it tomorrow. First thing tomorrow. I might need to call some mouses in double time. Since I'm going to be firing all my detectives, uh, it is fine. I really need to knock these ones out of the park quick so that I can... To be fair, you are free right now. You should be on these cases. Terror threat. Please insert the radio signal similar to the kind used by terrorist cells. They appear to be preparing a terrorist attack on Freeburg. The radio can only catch a short snatch of dialogue. It sounds like two cells, codenamed Green Snake and Juniper, are going to use something they call the Prophet's Hammer to make a giant explosion. Okay, I don't have a SWAT, um, but we could put all hands on deck. It could just be a false. Let's keep Yancey back and King. I'm not sure why we need to send SWAT for the dentist, because it's just one person. Terrorists in the band department. There were no sound of attack. The signal was transmitted by a Tory radio. No terrorists. Great. I thought it might have been a fake, but it seemed weird to be a fake. It seemed weird to be a terrorist attack, let's be honest. Drug sales. The owner of a small grocery reports that teenage drug pushers are always hanging around the corner outside a shop. I'm tired of calling this in. You cops never do anything. Disappointing man and then abruptly hung up. Florida on King. You can deal with that. You might need backup. We'll see. How many frames have we got now? We have enough. Possibly. Okay. I was about to go home when the building suddenly lost power and it got really quiet. Oh, actually, that's a. Uh, it's these two choices. Uh, then I heard muffled noise like a little clamp from just down the street. The building had about 10 employees. I didn't notice the smoke at first. When I saw the fire, I began to yell, but it was too late. Okay. Oh, dear God. At the time of the tragedy, I should have been home. I was just leaving, and I ran into Ron Sherman on the street. He's the ex-husband of one of our patients, who decided not to have her child after she consulted with the Freeburg Birth Control Union. After that, Mr. Sherman openly quarreled with his wife. I understand he beat her later than they divorced. Since then, he's come to office several times on the evening of the fire. He's standing across the road wearing a large backpack. Um... He made a point of walking past me and muttered something to the spirit of burn in hell, bitch. I thought how close I was ready to hell if people could wear such ugly red sweaters. Ah. So then it's that, that. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, and let's try and sort this before the end of the day, if possible. Because then I can fire Armstrong today. Motel, or I can only hit one of them. Suburb. This is his wife's house, and they're divorced. Okay, so it'll be this one. Yancey. I don't think there's going to be another crime today, so we'll send Yancey new matter. We need to, like, knock this one at the park. We can have fire today, and we can hire today.
Withholding evidence. Jack, kind of circus you running over there. Temper of evidence seems your man aren't loyal after all. But you're glad we just don't want to see any more hype in the papers about this dentist of yours. We convinced the prosecutor not to investigate your little sideshow, but we did ask the feds to look into you. So we're going over your correspondence with fine tooth gummed. Okay, damn it. Drug possession. Let's look at drug possession then. Dante Gambino is an old and reliable employee of the Atalala At funeral home. His job is to import and distribute drugs. Yeah, okay, we knew that much. Um, those look very similar. Oh, that's a bunch of keys, and that's like a single key? Sure, this seems weird. Okay. The cane is stored in a metal urn normally used for ashes. Okay, metal urn. There we go. The office is open from 8 to 8. Goods are brought in through the main entrance after closing time. Okay. Oh, right. It's like, this is it. Okay, so he pulls up in the van. Vehicles. A truck filled with... So I guess that's a van? A truck filled with urns comes twice a month. The driver moves a box is filled of product inside the home. Okay, so we need the driver moving the product. And it currently it's him... Which is incorrect. The drug filled urns are stored in a fireproof cabinet in the office of uh, the owner of the whole. Uh, Dante Gamina keeps an office in a key in office, which he wears on a big chain with lots of other keys. Okay, so this one. So, big chain, lots of other keys. Then the driver moves it in, which is incorrect, that. Because that's him moving it in. And then, with the big bunch of keys, you open the door and you put the urn inside, or you. Do that. I don't know. So I think it's meant to be something like that. So the truck shows up. The driver takes it in. Let's check. The driver moves the boxes filled product inside the funeral home. You open the door and you put the urn in. So we need more to do it. Just double check. Do we get him? Yes! Score. Uh, drug sales report. Cocaine! Um, we're gonna have to bring it to the police station. We're in a little bit of a fine-toothed comb at the moment. A little bit worried about that one. Okay, uh, I would like everyone to come in tomorrow. Not police officers, but detectives. It's tempting to get a police officer as well. Yeah, let's bring Floridor in. We need you to catch the dentist. Floridor! Bring your gun and your badge. Add yourself tomorrow. We're gonna need you. But sir, I can't do it. You're working me too much. I need to get out there and, you know, take them on in my own time. I can't be constrained by the police force and their ethics. Floridor! You need to work between the rules, damn it. You need to actually, like, put your back into this work. I don't know. Anyway, Florida's coming tomorrow, and so are all of the detectives, and then we're probably going to fire most of them. Um, we need to sort out this dentist thing, because then we need to fire someone. Uh, but we can fire Sandstrom, is it? And I think we can fire Armstrong, or one or the other. We can fire Armstrong, I think, and Sandstrom, as soon as we've sorted this other case out, we can fire Sandstrom. But we're going to be, like, hot on the ball tomorrow. Going to this new place with the cards and stuff. But I've been at Red Sim, uh, and we're going to end the day. I, I think there's nothing else to do. We're going to get a cutscene? Of course we are. Boyd. Jack, I just watched a recording of your last press conference. What's going on with your outfit? You got the problem with your clothes? You what the hell is that voice? You called me. We could have found you a suit in no time. We could make you the most beautiful 60-year-old cop in the world. I don't have time for this, Varga. I know, I know. <laughs> it just makes me sad to see such a solid fellow dressing up like a teenager. And the new hairstyle. What's with that? <laughs> if you want to hide your bald head, you should buy a hat. 
And if you pick out something that is... Mr. Varga, I am very tired, so if you don't... Yes, Jack, listen, I'm sorry. I'm calling you about another matter. Me and the boys have got to thinking. Why is it you want half a million? Who told you about that? Come on, Jack, the whole town is talking about it. Well, uh, I owe someone half a million. A big boss. He left the city long before you got here. Sometimes sends his thugs to remind me. I want to pay him off so I can retire quietly. That's it? That's it. What did you have the half million? <laughs> How boring and old you are, Jack. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Now, don't forget your sleeping pills. Okay, either he's dead, or he never takes out the dustbin. Mayor's favourite stripper found dead in his home. 25-year-old Pamela Cox, latest victim, brutal murder. A giraffe is coming to the zoo. City Hall loves us? Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay, yeah, we're going to be asking for everything today. Why the hell do they love us? But no idea why that is. What did we do for them today? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's just completely inaccurate. I don't know. Anyway, I've been Aaron Lucy. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.